What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I posted a video, so thanks for checking this one out. Kind of a last minute idea here today, but we are about to experience the eclipse. Uh, lucky enough for us, we live right in the path of totality as they're calling it. So you can see it's a nice bright blue clear sky day today. So it should be pretty cool to see the, uh, the eclipse and the effect it has on the heat pump while it's running. It's not a very cold day. I actually have the heat pump shut off right now, but we're going to turn it on right around uh, prime time here and just see what happens to the solar input on the app, the EG4 app. So we will take a look at that, get it running probably 10, 15 minutes before the eclipse actually happens, see what it looks like, and then just kind of have a look at the eclipse in general. Okay, so it's about 15 minutes before the peak event of the eclipse here. Um, it's going to happen right around 3.15 in the afternoon for us today, so it's only going to last a minute or two. It doesn't really show up on camera, but right now outside, everything is just a little bit darker and oranger. It almost looks like a sepia tone filter like you put on Instagram back in the day over your pictures. Uh, it doesn't really pick up on camera, but it is starting to look a little bit darker, a little bit oranger outside. So we're about 10 minutes here from the main event. I'm going to fire up the heat pump. Uh, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'll set it for 75 just so it's got a bit of a higher demand. It's going to pull a little more wattage and we'll just see how much solar we can actually make. Like I said, it's not really showing up on camera, but it is starting to look pretty cool outside. It's really, uh, yeah, like I said, almost like a sepia tone or like a filter you'd use on a photo. Very, very unique looking. Um, I've experienced this once before when I was a kid, so I don't really remember it, but it's definitely getting close. So we're going to have a look at the app here in a second and we'll see how much power we are actually making. So just to show you, um, still looks like a bright, sunny, beautiful day on camera here. But if you look at the app, we're actually making basically no solar. We're pulling all this power from grid, 520 watts. We just dropped off to zero solar. I had about 30 watts there for a few seconds and now it's gone. So uh, I'll take you aside. I'll show you that the solar disconnect is actually turned on. We are still willing to take solar, but currently making nothing. It's starting to show up on camera a little bit now. You can see the sky looks a little hazy, almost looks like a really bad air quality day in the summer. As you can see here, solar disconnect is in the on position. So. It's just making nothing. Yeah, we have absolutely no solar power coming through the panels right now. 600 watts from the grid. So a couple more minutes here. We're about five minutes away from the path of totality or the uh, the total eclipse, I guess. And uh, should be pretty cool. We'll stay tuned and see what happens. Okay, here it is. We have a total eclipse. It just went absolutely dark here in the last 30 seconds. The street lights are all on. Again, doesn't really do it justice on camera. It, it looks like it's about 9.30, maybe 10 p.m. at night right now. And it's 3:20 in the afternoon so pretty cool very dark uh, still obviously making absolutely zero solar so just wanted to show you the street lights here we'll go out take a look out back um, i couldn't get to focus on the video but here is a picture i got of the actual eclipse just on the phone um, yeah basically no daylight coming in the back i have all the lights off kitchen's totally dark we're still set for 75 fahrenheit and we are still making no solar 720 from grid because i've got it turned up a little higher and uh yeah you can kind of tell on camera now looks pretty cool you can still see kind of the shadows from the sun but overall it's pretty dark again camera really doesn't do it justice but uh it's pretty cool and just like that we're back to daylight blue skies sunny everything looks almost normal again it's been about eight minutes since the total eclipse uh, we are starting to make a little bit of solar power now so i'll take you over and show you the phone as you can see, we're doing 60 watts from solar and uh, about 640 from AC still. So I'll leave this running a few more minutes, just kind of see what we get up to before I shut it down. Again, I don't really need it on. It's pretty warm in here today. So uh, yeah, overall pretty cool. I It's kind of been the talk of the town, this whole eclipse thing this week. Uh, since we are kind of in the path of totality, Niagara region as well as us, we have a beach nearby. So there's just been hundreds of cars coming down here. As you can see, the solar icon just lit up, meaning we have right around 100 watts. Uh, double check here yeah a little over 100 watts so slow, solar is slowly coming back in uh, just a few minutes after the eclipse so yeah overall pretty cool i guess we now know that the solar eclipse does fully cut off your solar input which is to be expected but uh like i said just a quick video for today so as always thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one